रिस्पेक्टेड डॉक्टर मिश्रा डॉक्टर पांडे डॉक्टर मिश्रा डॉक्टर रश्मि एंड मिस्टर अत्री ऑल डेलीगेट्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन नाइस टू बी एड्रेसिंग द रोबोटिक सर्जन्स ऑन ए वेलेंटाइन डे इन फ्यूचर मे बी ए रोबोट मे बी एड्रेसिंग द रोबोटिक सर्जन्स और वाइस वर्सा Winston Churchill once said never try to climb a wall that is leaning towards you never try to kiss a woman who is leaning away from you and never ever write a topic to a group whose specialty is that topic so you are all minimally excess surgeons a robotic surgeons and i'm not going to talk on robotic surgery per se and the topic which i have chosen is beyond robots and beyond robotic surgery and this will include innovations in robots beyond robotic surgery future operation theaters future treatments in oncology and moral and ethical values and issues you will agree with me there has been a revolution in evolution and we have progressed from agricultural age to industrial age and then information age and now it is bio intelligence when will the wisdom age come we do not know the fundamental change has been from tissues and instruments to information and energy in other words from atoms and objects to bits and bytes what are these new technologies which have evolved over years these are nanotechnology cloning genomic mapping minimal invasive surgeries genetic can we put off this uh, genetically altered food and teletherapies the list is endless now the question is will the application of these new technologies result in overall improvement in quality of life of people we definitely have enhanced understanding of disease biology we are performing complex surgical procedures safely we have the better therapeutics and the outcome is definitely better what we need is imagination albert einstein had said imagination is more important than knowledge we are doing minimally invasive surgery in the form of laparoscopic surgery robotic surgery and remote surgery is a reality now we will definitely combine these modalities with pre op planning virtual surgery intra operative navigational procedures simulation training and pre op warm up we already have support robots the helpmates as patient and hospital staff assistants couriers inside the hospital they deliver meals medication and x-rays to the patients we have the motion sensors which prevent inadvertent collisions and these are few examples even in other fields not just surgery it is in the field of radiation we just talk of radiotherapy many of the late latest radiotherapy machines are basically robot controlled and one good example is cyber knife so what is the next innovation in the field of robotic surgery in development we have advanced instrumentation 
single port robotic surgery articulated stapling near infrared vision integrating ultrasound networking telemonitoring and simulation to some extent exist and in near future we will have the image guidance haptics notes focal therapies and the ultimate is automation everything is automated you just feed the data and robots will do everything and procedure specific robots may be available in near future this has been already achieved natural orifice surgery with laparoscope but we have the laparoscopic sewing machines the augmented vision we will soon have in the domain of robotic surgery today we have the monopolar bipolar cauteries radio frequency ablations harmonic scalpel but tomorrow we'll have the lasers articulated stapling and plasma powered instruments incorporated in robots we will we have the intraoperative imaging intraoperative ultrasounds are available but they'll be soon incorporated within the robotic arms remote guidance and teaching teleproctoring both are available in the domain of laparoscopy as well as to some extent in robotic surgery to augment the 3d visual field with real time information we have high resolution pre op images everything computerized everything digitized and intra operative imaging and we'll be able to navigate tissues and surgery better we'll be able to add the sense of touch to the robot that is what is missing in robotic surgeries question of what is surgically relevant sensing differences in texture of tissues robotic arm cannot differentiate this is hard this is soft firm your hands can do that but now this touch sensation will be perceived by one of the sensors at the tip of the robotic arm work is going on we will soon have the micro robots and nano robots you have huge robotic arms with good size theaters at the moment but the micro robots of the size of 1.63 cm capsule size robots are available and the scientists plan to mount cameras temperature sensors microphones and micro tools into it there is going to be miniaturization of robots to extremes they'll allow them to roam within the human body they'll be equipped with dna joints and carbon nanotubes and rigid links they'll have multiple degree of freedom and specific functions will be repairing and destroying individual cell and i'm sure all of you are aware of the endoscopic cameras diagnostic imaging of git a capsule is swallowed and whole of your gi is imaged it is a good example of robot internal locomotion actuators which are being currently investigated are walking robot with legs submarine forms and vibratory locomotions because when you swallow there is no control you do not have any control it is only the gut motility which controls the robotic capsule but now you will have controllable robots and this is the ultimate 
protein and DNA based nanorobots. There will be registration of robot to patients. First, it will be pre-programming the robots with patient imaging details and data so that surgeon does not make any mistake when he is operating that patient. Second, intra-surgical registrations establishing a common reference frame between the pre-surgical data, the surgical plan and the corresponding patient anatomy again to reduce the errors. Robots will dream in future and that is what is artificial intelligence. If your sons have read, if they are engineers, they will tell you about what is artificial intelligence. So the second part of my talk is beyond robotic surgery. It is more of philosophy than of techniques of robotic surgery. We will have screen detected cancers and screen detected diseases. We will move from palliation to prevention. We will have molecular credentialing. It is not that I will be doing the biopsy and send the specimen to the pathologist. Pathologist will tell you that this is the diagnosis and then I plan the treatment. No. Maybe the patient enters, submits his blood sample to a molecular biologist and he does some molecular studies, tells you that this is a disease maybe as surgeons we will be out of jobs and molecular biologists will decide for the treatment. There will be personalized medicine, nothing empirical, no eminence based surgery or treatment, it is going to be evidence based treatment. We will find out the molecular defects in particular cells and tailor the treatment depending on the molecular de defects detected. That is called personalized medicine. Gene therapy, vaccines, better navigational systems, virtual assistants and virtual nurses. We are struggling to get good nurses. But we are moving from high touch and low tech to low touch and high tech. I will explain this. I am sure the senior surgeons who are sitting here, everybody has taught their juniors and everybody has done good clinical examination. The essence of any treatment is, first step is good clinical examination. That is what I mean high touch. We clinically examine a patient. In the past, we were low tech. The technology was low. People depended more on hand. Hand scan, I still say, is the best scan, better than a CT scan. But now, everybody sees CT scan and MRIs. Nobody wants to touch a patient. They don't want to even listen to a patient, see the scan and decide about treatment. And that is what is low touch and high tech. That should not happen. So beyond robotic surgery, is it fiction? We will have total body scan. Maybe we will develop some chips who will scan the whole body and maybe a trauma patient gets the scanning of the body within 10 minutes or 15 minutes and the surgeon knows that yes, these are the damaged areas and here I need to intervene. The future is MEMS. It is micro, micro electro mechanical system. It is a technology to create miniature sensors and actuators and micro machines. 
may be scissors graspers sensors less than the size of few millimeter less than 2% of the hospital deaths patients under undergo autopsies majority of the times we do not know what is the cause of death what is the incidence of occult cancer in that patient which never manifested maybe the patient had some other problems which were not detected during lifetime and statistics from autopsy actually should drive the national policies so we'll have the virtual or simulated autopsies you will know why the person died the operating rooms of future may have the surgeon but will not have the assistants scrub nurses and circulating nurses they'll be all replaced by robots and that's the future operating room with patient and maybe the surgeon maybe the engineer sitting there that's what is going to happen and this is the cockpit surgical cockpit where surgeon will be sitting and patient might be sitting in us or somewhere else the next step is going to be brain machine interface where motions will be controlled with your thoughts and the experiments are already going on and the revolutionary idea is a customizable self assembled and self recognizable re- re- reconfigurable robot this is only an imagination this will be able to adopt this configuration to the specific site of intervention and to the task that must be executed within the body that is why i said is it all fiction but today we are imagining i am sure tomorrow it will be a reality you must have read in times of india there was an ad on femtosecond laser for eye surgery this advertisement came just two days back and even in oncology and general surgery you will have femtosecond laser it is a precision cutting tool it ionizes cuts and removes atom by atom so precise allows precise machining of everything from steel to tooth to even heart musculature and pulse of system is about 50 to 100 femtosecond we already have atomic force microscopy i am just introducing these terms and words so that you know what is going to happen to these or robots of future even at cellular level it is possible to make holes in the walls and examine these holes what is going to happen at molecular level and the surgical console will get converted into a cellular surgery console so you will not have giant robots you may have just a small pc and you might be operating at cellular level and this you might be visualizing on your pc replacing human body parts <coughs> you have the tissue engineering artificial ear has been grown artificial organs have been cloned liver scaffolding is available artificial blood vessels grown in tissue culture and you have excellent prosthesis the organs which have been grown synthetically bone skin you name the organ they are there they have been grown 
including heart muscles and bladder and urethra and so on so on and so forth so you will be replacing all these organs you are aware of suspended animation you have read everyone has read in animals it has been studied in alaska that heart rate of animal may drop from 300 to 3 when the animal is hibernating and respiratory rate from 150 to less than 1 per minute and the body temperature from 37 to minus 2 and in practice we use it in cardiac surgery we do hypothermia what is the purpose metabolism to be brought to the minimum so to some extent we use the philosophy of suspended animation scientists have achieved they have actually made a mice that have lived more than 3 normal life spans should humans live 200 years or more they have understood there is senescence of cells with loss of telomeres telomeres so if you stop that process with the enzyme telomerase as you do for any gene therapy you might be able to prolong life so these artificial organs smart prosthesis genetic engineering regeneration if i replace 95% of my body am i still human the questions are moral and ethical should we do such research in areas we may not be able to control genetics cloning nano robots and intelligent machines will prolonging life with technology result in more diseases of different nature can we change medicine from treatment to prevention in defeating diseases will technology change a human into a combination of man and machine what does it mean to be a human how will we decide who gets the technology especially in third world we may have more osamas the ultimate ethical question is for the first time in history there walks upon this planet a species so powerful that it can control its own evolution at its own time of choosing and said by homo sapiens and the last moral and ethical values are technology is neutral we always blame the technology who created this technology it is we it is neither good or evil it is up to us to breathe the moral and ethical life into these technologies and then apply them with empathy and compassion for each and every patient today is happy valentine day and the best wishes from the side of robot thank you